What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Today, we are going to be talking about AlphaFold, one of the lizard people programs that they use to dissect and look at your whole entire DNA strand and how these lizard people are going to make you have an AI doctor. This is not a doctor's office. It's forward. The world's first AI doctor's office. It all starts with the care pod, an entirely new approach to healthcare with prevention at its core. With health apps, your care team has the latest technology to treat the issues of today and prevent the issues of tomorrow. We'll start by establishing a baseline of your health, diving deep into all aspects of your health, past health history, current health state, future wellness goals, body scan, biometric monitoring, blood testing, and more. It's all about understanding where you are today, where you want to be, and how to get there. What is AlphaFold? Guys, I'm gonna say this to you. Under the context of what we've been discussing, if you go back from video to video to video to video to video and look at everything we put together, I probably need to just combine all these videos into one long video so you can see it. When you take Urino Hubari and the things that he said, matter of fact, let me show you Urino. Here he is. We now have the power, or at least not we, but some gov governments and corporations for the first time in history have the power to basically hack human beings. There is a lot of talk about hacking computers, hacking smartphones, hacking bank accounts, but the big story of our era is the ability to hack human beings. And by this I mean that if you have enough data and you have enough computing power, you can understand people better than they understand themselves, mm -hmm. and then you can manipulate them in ways which were previously impossible. You know, the, the whole idea that humans have, you know, this, they, they have this soul or spirit and they have free will and nobody knows what's happening inside me. So whatever I choose, whether in the election or whether in the supermarket, this is my free will, that's over. You take all the things that he had to say and you sit there and you wonder, how can this man sit there and profess that they have the ability to hack humans? So I start looking for where this ability to hack human beings came from. I really did. And that's when I came across DeepMind and AlphaFold. They really do have the ability to hack you. Now, we, we've seen the videos about them hacking your brain waves, right? We saw that. One of the things that's interesting, is there any possibility that this technology could work while not actually touching your skin? Right, like right now you have to make a choice to put on a headset or a hat or something in your ears. Is it possible that the web could have it in the ceiling? Um, no, uh, not for brainwave technology, but it is possible to disrupt brainwaves remotely. Mm -hmm. So uh, there, you know, if you've heard of Havana syndrome, Havana syndrome is a belief that people have suffered from the leading theory is that it's targeted microwave activity of brains to disrupt brainwave activity. There's no proof of it yet, but there's at least a couple dozen cases where there isn't a good explanation for why the individual suffered from disruption of mental abilities. So, you know, I'm, I am a futurist. I'm not a perfect predictor of the future, but I'll give you my one year, five year tenure. So focusing in the world of wearable technology as opposed to implanted technology. And I do believe that within many of our lifetimes, we'll see healthy people using implanted brain technology as well. Then we can decode complex thought. But wearable brain technology, I think in one year, we will be largely where we are now, but with much better form factor technology. So many companies are launching these earbuds and headphones this year that have sensors that are built in. One of the things that has limited the widespread adoption of the technology until now has been that you have to wear something like across your forehead. Most of us aren't gonna do that. But when it's the same device that you're using to take calls from and also to listen to music from that also is picking up brainwave activity, it's integrated into your everyday life. Because this is to the microscopic biocellular level. They have the ability to hack you. Now, this is not going to be a long video, but listen to what this man has to say. This guy is the one of the most world renowned uh, people when it turns when it comes to AI. Um, and I need you to just hear what he has to say. 
Demis, thank you very much for your time. AlphaFold 3, big, big upgrade, of course, to the AlphaFold program, which was so significant in terms of the protein folding question for biologists and for the medical world. AlphaFold 3, so it's able then to predict the structures of all sorts of different biomolecules, including DNA and RNA, and how they interact with each other. Talk to us about the potential significant implications, what you see as the most significant implications of this technology. Yeah, we're very excited about this new AlphaFold version. Um, of course, biology is, as we know, is a dynamic system. Really, all the emergent properties of biology and life are due to interactions between different molecules and different structures. So that's what AlphaFold 3 is about, is a first step in that direction, understanding this dynamic picture um, and understanding what proteins interact with and how they interact with uh, those other types of molecules. So not just other proteins, but also DNA and RNA, like you said. Well, of course, the holy grail for drug discovery is not just knowing the protein structure, which is what AlphaFold 2 did, but actually design designing drug compounds called ligands that bind to the protein surface and you want to know where it binds and how strongly it binds in order for you to design the, the right kind of drug compound. So now if you watch my previous video, the one that came before this at 7 p.m. yesterday, then you understand that AlphaFold, this program, has been around since 2016. You're talking about AlphaFold 2, AlphaFold 3. And so I was guesstimating and surmising that by 2019 alpha fold 2 was in full swing and they were at the beginning of using alpha fold 3. here's why this is significant they've been able to sequence all these different proteins in the human body rna mrna dna what that means we don't need to go into it we get a little deep dive on it but a hit let's stay at a high level here's what i want you to understand we just went through a phase where the news told us that there were certain drugs that wouldn't work to help us, um, that they were useless, that they were horse medicines and all the rest of the stuff. And what this tells you is that these people knew without a doubt, and they know without a doubt, no matter what virus comes out, no matter what infection comes out, they have a solution to it, hands down. In fact, I go so far to suggest to you that if I was to sit here and actually take the time, I'm going to show you share the screen with you. If I was to sit here and take the time and mess with alpha fold, my damn self, this is alpha fold. This is their server. Protein, RNA, ion, P, D, B, 8, A, W, 3. That anything that they rolled out, that you can sequence it and find a solution to it your damn self. You understand where we are right now? And just to be clear with you, this is, I did this. This is me and the, inside the account. This is me doing this. And I don't know what the hell I'm doing. All I did was go to the other AI and say, hey, I explained to me how to do blah, blah, blah. And said they read the instructions and went through it. You know what else this means? What else this means is a nefarious actor, person out there that ain't right in the head, can sit here that's got a little bit of sense and a whole lot of patience that person can sit here and do the same damn thing that i was doing and sequence dna rna mrna down to the protein level and figure out how to mess it up so when in the near future when there is someone talking about a biovirus or a bio attack or a biohazard any disease any virus I want you to know and understand that this is already, this technology is already here to, sol to solve any problem. And that's what this man is telling you. He's clearly saying that they have the solution to any problem as it pertains to the human health, the human body, or the ability to create any problem with the human body. Are y'all smelling? what the rock is cooking with the pineapples and the children are you getting what i'm saying to you right now are you getting this hold on let me let him let me let him finish talking let me let him finish explaining things to you so alpha fold 3 is a, a big step in that direction of um, predicting protein ligand binding and how that interaction will work given the technology you know how you now have at your fingertips and everything you know about how this is progressing what is your best guess as to as to what will be the first ai derived and discovered drug. Yeah, 
Well, we, we announced earlier on this year um, some big partnerships with Eli Lilly and, and Novartis. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're already working on, on real drug uh, programs. Uh, and I would be expecting maybe in the next couple of years, the first AI sort of designed drugs uh, in the clinic. That's really interesting. You heard what he just said. I'm going to make a suggestion to you right now. Based on everything that we've been looking at, based on the fact that of Yuri Hovari and what he said, based on what the guy at the World Economic Forum for BlackRock said about obesity and the drugs that they created, they're already using AI to formulate drugs. And I submit to you that the one that everybody's submitting and sticking in their body to lose weight is an AI formulized drug. That's what it is. It's an AI sequence drug. Now, it ain't gonna come out that it's an AI sequence drug because if somebody told you, hey, you know, take this AI drug, this drug that was developed by a computer to lose weight, you ain't finna take that. You're gonna be like, hell no, I ain't taking that. But it's not, I'm not gonna disclose that. I'm just gonna give you the drug. So here's what's lining up to happen to the whole society and the whole world. They have the ability to literally hack your body. Nefarious actors, evil people, evil men like Yuri and Old Havari, who clearly is evil. Maybe some good guys. This guy doesn't really strike me as like he's an evil, wicked person. He just strikes me as he's a big brain scientist that is excited about what he can do for humanity. But because he's so distant and far away from the average individual, nobody's sitting there slapping him upside the head saying, say, bro, you ever think how bad this could go for humanity if this get in the wrong hands? And you know he ain't thinking about it because he already done disclosed it and anybody named mama could put their hands on it. I mean, anybody named mama could get their hands on this. Now, I'm pretty sure they have fail safes in the system somewhere, but I mean, damn, anybody, anybody can get their hands on it. So the point I'm making to you is this, ladies and gentlemen. The point I'm trying to make is they've already rolled out all this stuff so the riches of the richest people already had access to all this they already got access to the right designer drugs the right designer brain drugs remember they had that movie uh limitless that came out where the guy took the drug and his brain was boom 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 and i'm sitting there watching the movie i'm saying look they always do this pre-programming where would this come from this designer drug there you go that movie itself was responsible so many so many people being on adderall it was ridiculous but nonetheless, now you know where they get these drugs from, and how they've been able to get them for a long, long time. I just want you to be mindful of what the lizard people are doing. And the only way you can truly be mindful of what you're facing is if you understand what's right in front of you. An average person ain't finna go look through none of this, man. They're not. But I'm gonna let them finish talking. I'm gonna let them finish talking. That's really interesting. In the next couple of years, mm -hmm. Isomorphic Labs, look, I know this is a passion of yours. You oversee this unit. It's a separate business, but under the Alphabet family, of course. Yes. And it's that generative AI or AI developed drugs. And you have those partnerships, as you say, Novana, no, uh, Novartis, I, I should say, and Eli Lilly. Up to $3 billion of revenue. You, you are obviously a key figure when it comes to the generative AI and what's evolving. And within Alphabet now, all of the AI elements have now been put under your control. Gemini, DeepMind, of course, isomorphic labs, all the research, all the compute. Does that, do you think, better equip DeepMind, Google DeepMind and Alphabet to fight back, beat back the, the competitive threat maybe from the likes of OpenAI? I think it's part of the, you know, it, 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 as, as the exciting era that we're entering into with what AI can do in products as well as science. Um, and I think the amount of compute and engineering resources and other things that are needed, um, you know, I think the new kind of organizational setup we have uh, streamlines what we need to do and sets us up brilliantly for the next, you know, the next exciting phase. And positions you to compete better. Well, I think it will allow us to go faster and, and, and produce more and, and basically continue with all the amazing advances that we've been doing over the last decade. And you've talked about being in a low data regime. And when we think about what's needed for generative AI, huge amounts of data, of course, and for some, not all, but for some copyrighted data, but also huge amounts of energy, electricity, water, and huge amounts of cash. Are the foundations of generative AI challenged when it comes to the sustainability of this? I think that the benefits that the generative AI models that we build, things like drug discovery and other stuff, that is going to far outweigh 
um, uh, these costs, I think, in the long run. So including even on things like energy and climate, where I think AI has a huge um, uh, uh, potential to help with that. Do I... Y'all remember the movie Matrix? Y'all remember the movie Matrix? In the movie The Matrix, the computers, which were basically AI computers, were using human beings as batteries in order to power that AI world that they were, I guess they were conquering different worlds and using human beings as the power source. When you listen to what these people are saying, the question that he just begged about the resources, the amount of resources that it would take in order for um, them to run this, it's real weird that there's a cult of people who are concerned about the environment and greenhouse gases and the world being overheated. And then there's a cult of people who want to take and mine everything out of the planet, out of the earth, and burn every last resource to run computers. And they're both a part of the World Economic Forum, and they're both pushing these two parallel narratives. One that is humans are not sustainable to the planet, and we damage the planet. And then another one pushing that computers need to control everything. But those computers, there's no way that that level of power that's needed is truly sustainable. And so what that leads me to is that the lady who created the movie The Matrix, I mean, she was a black woman, I remember seeing her talking about it. That lady probably got a vision from the Lord himself about some kind of intergalactic, evil, alien life form, i.e. Lucifer, Satan himself and wanting to be God and control the whole damn world and the whole damn universe. But it's just retarded. I'm sorry. I mean, it's the whole concept is dumb, retarded, and backwards. And you can't tell me that, oh, you know, we'll have the ability to heal anybody from any disease and this, this, and, the, and, and lengthen people's lifespans. And there's a reason why man has a lifespan. There's a reason why women have a lifespan. There's a reason why People work. There's a reason why people have children. Everything about this is purely demonic when you look at it. I mean, straight from the pits of hell, demonic. And they can sell it however they want. They can package it however they want. What you're doing is you giving me a box with a big old beautiful bow like a Christmas present with a whole bunch of poop on the inside of it. That's what you're giving humanity right now. Poop. Wrapped as a present. A poop present. I'm out of here. It's the one and only James Wade. Peace.